We're going to do the centre of the sunflower with a mixture of blanket stitch and French knots. So the blanket stitch goes around this donut shape here and it goes in the direction of these lines. You can come up on the outer edge of the circle, either thread through at the back if you've got thread left, or you can start with some little stitches on this line. So always come up on the line, take your needle down into the centre line. The centre line is just a guideline and you can, you can adapt that if you wish. So you can go a bit closer or a bit further away. And then bring your needle up on the line like that to make your first stitch. And now we're going to go in again. Don't pull the loop all the way through. Come up on the line a little way away from the first stitch. They're not next to each other, but they're not that far away either. And at the centre, they will be closer together because the circle is smaller. So go in at the centre, come out on the edge through the loop. And I'm right handed, so I'm working my circle left to right. Left handers will work right to left. always come up on the line and go down on the inner one. And try and be conscious of where the next line is so that you know that's got to line up. So I've now reached that line and I'm going down to cover it. So on this outer edge here you get a nice sort of scroll effect and on the inner edge you're going to cover that with French knots. So don't worry if you go a bit further into the shape that's fine because that's going to get covered so I'm going closer to that stitch on my inner circle because I need to make sure that it angles around for when I meet this next line here So we're nearly there and I'm going to run out of thread. This uses a lot of thread. So I'm going to come back and show you how to start again. But to finish, just go down into the fabric and run your thread through the stitches at the back and cut off. So to restart your thread, come up literally where you went down. So in the same hole if you can and then start again. And then you shouldn't see any, any join. So make sure you stick rigidly to this outer line on the inner line, it doesn't really matter if you go, like I just have done there, a little bit further in, because that's going to get covered.
Now, did you see on some of these stitches here that I almost went into the same hole to get the angle right in the centre? I know I said you can go further into this shape and it's not important, but the thing is, don't, don't lose the whole shape of the centre. I should have mentioned that because you want your a nice oval here for you for your French knots. 